Today we ask the age-old question. Will it sub? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. If you've watched any Willits of the past, you know that we love a good sandwich. We've done Willet chicken sandwich. Mm. We've done Willet ice cream sandwich. Yeah. And when we returned to the studio for the first time from quarantine in 2022, <laughs> sorry to bring it up, but that very first episode back we did Willet sandwich. You said 2022, I remember returning in 2020. Oh. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. 2020. 2020. Yep. But the thing about we that. We were turning 2022. The I thing guess, about every, that. Every weekday. Okay, it was pretty much just us and Stevie here in the, st in the studio. Stevie, you did an amazing job. I mean, Thank the you. three of us, dream team. Yeah. But you know, I do appreciate everyone here. <laughs> that makes yeah. it much easier. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit bizarre. Now we're back in full swing. We're going to give the Mythical Kitchen a stab at sandwiches. But they got to go big. And what's a sandwich? But. Bigger than a sandwich? A sub sandwich. It's time for Well It Sub. Okay guys, before we get started, a reminder that you do have the third mouth button at your disposal to summon a crew member of your choosing to try the food in any one round you'd like. So cool. And also, our Will It Crew tournament is still very much happening and Kaylin is currently in the lead. I didn't know that part of the thing was you also had a pool about which round we're using this on. I mean, some people aren't gonna make any salary. I, I feel like- They're gonna blow it all on. I feel like one of us could start colluding behind the scenes to get a cut of whatever they win, but I don't think Pete they Rose. actually win anything. Pete Rose? Except pride. What do you win? Jacket. A jacket. I get a piece of the jacket, so I'm helping. I thought he said redacted. <laughs> <laughs> redacted. What, just tell us. <laughs> redacted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. Okay, subs come in many a type. If, if you were to go on a subway, yep. not only would you develop a deviated septum due to the smell, uh, but you would also see a menu full of different kinds of subs. Right. That's why to truly honor what the sub sandwich represents, we're testing a different subtype in every round of today's exploration. And for the first one, we wanted to go meatball sub, uh, but we're not going to subway, we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings, and we are ordering Buffalo Balls, the sub. <laughs> Oh, and look, here it is. Trevor, what did you do, Ooh, boy? <coughs> Man, well, <laughs> dude. You. Didn't mean to call you a boy. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. okay, that's okay. You're uh, young, but you're yeah, not a boy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's no, right. He's okay. a man. <laughs> you're boyish. Um, all right. Do you but want me to say the thing, or should I just go? I mean, I'm also Trevor. Yeah, I've been called a boy. Should Trevor, I just go. Just, just power through. People, right. people um, call me boy. They call me the him bread, the businessman. To start with the bread, the there's a lot of celery and carrots in that bread. Yes. Um, because you know, classic side with wings, and then we've got three different flavored meatballs for three different wing flavors uh, oh. from the Buffalo Wild Wings. So we've got original buffalo, Parmesan garlic, and mango habanero. There's a buffalo marinara sauce on there and then blue cheese on top. How do we know which is which? Well, I know the original you buffalo's in the middle. The other two, I don't know. It got spun around so many oh, times. Oh, gosh. And Trevor, what's up with this? Uh, it's just a side of wing bones. So, you know, the extra wing bones from all the wings that went into the meatballs. Because how are we going to get half a meatball? I'm just going to get this meatball and you're going to get that one. You're going to tell me what flavor it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, you go ahead and do that and then you hand it back. You don't, I mean, you're. I, I, Lady in the trumpet. Let's just do one at a time. Let's just do one at a time. You what? You want this one? No, 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 no. What are you afraid of? Nothing. I feel like you know something I don't. Redacted. <laughs> Good. I don't know yet. Mmm. I mean, it's a meatball. Mmm. I quite like this. But it's got the crunchiness of the wing meat in it. I, what did you get? What do you think you got? What flavor do you think you got? I think I got the garlic parm, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, because I was gonna say, I think I got the mango habanero. Can I just take this meatball out of the middle? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just kind of splitting. This is good. Oh, that gives me a little- it's like wing meat. Oh my gosh, the way that- You could really, just think about how people would feel about you if you showed up at a party with this. Because the taste is really, really he's I, so inventive. I, 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 nail, it's been nailed. You keep eating it. It's, it's good. so good, man. I, I would, love a buffalo. I wouldn't want to watch him making it though. I think that would make me uncomfortable. You don't want to watch Trevor just sit there with wings and just pull all the meat off and and then ball it up. He does it. With, it up. He does it with his bare hands. I don't want to watch anybody make meatballs. It's not just you, boy. 
It's anybody, son. That's okay. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wing, will it sub? Yeah. Yes! Now, some of us like to put chips inside of our sandwiches, and if you don't like that, you can go straight to hell. <laughs> Dang. Just a visit, everybody wants to see what it's like. <laughs> it's like I, a sauna. I love chips, I just don't, I'm not a chip on the sandwich guy. Uh, uh, I'm okay. a chip on the side, but. Well, what if your club sub sandwich didn't just have chips in it, but it was chips? Okay. Here it is, the chipping away at my club sub. Trevor, what did, what'd you do here? Is it a club sub intact? Yes, I see I see bacon. Where's the, where's the chips besides right there? Yeah, so strap in, fellas. What we got there oh, is we got some nacho cheese Dorito bread. Uh, oh, good gracious. There are Lay's chips on top, um, and then the other chips are found in the bacon, which are jalapeno chips, and then I made my own deli meat. So that is... Uh, Chili cheese Frito ham and sour cream and onion turkey. What? You got chips in meat? Yeah, chips in meat. So you made like a loaf of meat mm -hmm. with chips in it and then sliced it. Yeah, with some chemicals <laughs> and then sliced it, yeah. What, what chemicals? And I can, I can smell that. The fun kinds. The fun kind of chemicals that make things stick together. Yes. It tastes like I'm gonna be very thirsty. Well, it smells that way. I haven't tasted okay. it yet. This is kind of like the yeah. essence of no one asked for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I know we do that a lot on this show. We gotta ask a question before you can answer it. And you can only answer it by tasting it. And that's what we do. That's the service we provide. And I think that this isn't good. Oh. Hold on now. But he doesn't know yet. Let me break so it I'm down. Gonna I'm gonna give him a minute. Let's break it down for a second. It's that meat loaf stuff that Look what Trevor did, though. I mean, Trevor made meat. Yeah. Trevor's been Trevor's been making meat, y'all. I'm trying to decide if I like the bread on its own. And I don't really. I've eaten most of it by this point. Oh my God, guys. I forgot. There's also salt and vinegar mayo on there. Well, there we go. Let me try to get some of that. <laughs> Taste a little bit of that. I oh, mean. That's weird, too. <laughs> It was worth a shot. You know what, Trevor? It's too good. It's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it that's is. The problem. You did too good of a job on the, this. The bacon with the jalapeno chips is great on its own. That's that's the positive thing that I'm gonna say. Mm. You can tell your parents you did a great job. So great that chips, will it sub? No. The veggie subs. No meat, all veggies, fun. Um, it's not uncommon to see someone here in California ordering a veggie sub, you know, us Californians. Uh, but you know what else isn't uncommon to see in our desert climate? Mm. Succulents. Oh. You do the math, presenting the succulent veggie sub. Uh, Trevor? Yeah? What's that slab of clearness? Well, that gentleman is fresh aloe. Um, that wow. is also along with nopales, which are cactus paddles, uh, prickly pear, purslane, which is like a succulent leafy green, and then all on dragon fruit bread. Dragon fruit's a succulent? Yes, I sir. I know that. I you learn something new every day. It's that crazy. dragon fruit bread is just on point, homie. This, this, you know, this would do well. This is one of those things that- It's beautiful. You would get it for Instagram, and then whether it was good or not, you would you would get a little mileage out of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm this is beautiful, Trevor. Um, it smells like nothing. Yeah. It doesn't mm. smell like something I want to eat. It smells like a veggie sub. Dink it. And sink, sink it. Oh. <laughs> it's missing something. Um why is this like this? <laughs> well, it's because it's succulents. Wow. Sometimes I'm in the desert and I, I'm, I'm driving in the desert. I don't watch walk through the desert. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm like, man, what if my car broke down? And I had to walk through this desert. It's bitter. I'm like, can you like go up to, can you go up to a cactus and like put a hole in it and suck on it? I think you can chop it at the bottom and then there's a bowl there. It's like a dog bowl. I don't think you can do that. This is as close as we're ever gonna get, hopefully. And Trevor, it's awful. It's you, beautiful though. You, this is a valiant effort. What I want to do for you, Trevor. We just want you to know it's awful. Is I want to take my Instagram picture, lick it, 
and then wait, I want to dump wait, it. Wait, wait, try, the the, try just the bread. Oh man, I just missed the trash can. Because that's the only thing that I made was the bread. <laughs> The rest of it is just bread. everything else God made. <laughs> you can talk to him. Let me try that again. That was better. Hey. Huh. The bread's kind of fruity. Let's go. <laughs> Let me have some of your bread. Dragon fruit bread. I think that could work, man. The bread, okay. Yeah, okay, dude. The bread works. The bread's good. That's but the bread. bread's not on trial. You are. What? Succulents. Will it sub? No. <laughs> We've got a GMM sun catcher. It's a refractive window sticker. Once you peel what it off, is that? And you put it on a window. Look, it's a window. And look, if I see how it's like sparkling, and when the sunlight goes through this thing, it creates a rainbow. We can't do that because we don't have the sun. It gives you a freaking good mythical morning whenever it's um, you know, there's morning coming in. So have a good mythical morning um, with this on your. Windows, <laughs> mythical.com, all right? Yes. Get it. Now, we all know how stinky a tuna sandwich can be. Yes. Luckily for you and your coworkers, we've created a solution called the Tic Tac Tuna Sub. This is a good idea. Take the stinkiest <laughs> sub and then make it the most refreshing sub. How does it work? Oh boy, this um, this is a fun one. Uh, so you're familiar with you know tuna salad, you know tuna mayo, heard it, other yes. ingredients heard about it. to give it flavor. Um, I just uh, crushed up and chopped up every flavor of Tic Tac there is, and there's a shocking number of flavors because you've got your classic mint, you've got your orange, then there's uh, tropical mix, and there's also a fruit mix, and there's strawberries and cream. So and those are all in there. <coughs> And it's also uh, some some spearmint bread, um, and then some also some breath strips. Oh, I can smell the spearmint bread. It's it smells like a f like a. Fish it smells like a tuna fish sandwich swam uh, with through a Tic mix meadow. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's just take a big old big old healthy bite of it. You know what? What if what if we want to get someone else to taste it? I'm gonna save this side for somebody. You bite that, and then I'll bite it. Mm. Big old bite, huh? Oh, watch yourself. It's not half bad. <laughs> <laughs> not the half I'm on. Mm -hmm. I'd love, boy, I'd love to have someone else enjoy this with us. I never thought that tuna could be so easily overpowered by every flavor of Tic Tac. <laughs> but that is exactly what's happening. Somebody's gotta try this. I think it's like, KG's time. Ah Can you come? It's not that the tuna goes away. Come right here in the middle. I was really avoiding eye contact. My yeah, that's I know, you're, you usually don't face the other direction like that. Um, Get a big healthy bite now. A big old honking bite. Do you like tuna? Um, not really. <laughs> well, you, like you know what? Not really. All right, well, maybe together they'll be great for you. Is it gonna like hurt my tooth because it's gonna be crunchy or No, what? it's, uh, it's just, you know, just be. Big old, big old bite, be, bigger be, than that. Be a little bit careful. All that right there, eat that too. <clears throat> if you take another bite. What? Take another bite with me. <laughs> yeah, KG, it is, it's not that bad. It tastes like fruity fish. It tastes like fruity fish. It's really bad. And sometimes you can put like fruit on a fish. It tastes like toothpaste. A little bit, a little bit toothpastey, a little bit fruity, a little bit fishy. You're not getting any fish? I'm getting more Tic Tac. It's amazing what the Tic Tacs are doing. They're doing so much heavy lifting. I'm still getting fish. We don't even need the fish. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not like gagging. Yeah. No, I can see that. Maybe we, I mean, the, so mission accomplished. The point I is, say, to, yeah. is to freshen tuna. I'm not gonna have tuna breath. I'm gonna have Tic Tac breath. Mm -hmm. And that's not something I, I that I can worry about. Yeah, go ahead. <sighs> Why'd you put oh, your wow. hair into it? Why'd yeah, you yeah. do that? He she shot it down and I had to go after it. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right though. You like it? You like my breath? Uh, I don't hate it. It's pretty good. I don't hate it and she didn't hate it. It's so much better than we all expected. So if it wasn't for you, KG, I would have been arguing big time. But hey, hey here we are. Here Tic Tacs, are. will it sub? Yes. yes. Italian subs are very delicious, but what if we got more Italian than any Italian has ever Italian uh -oh. by creating an Italian sub made primarily of Italy's most prized ingredient, garlic. Mm. This is the all-powerful, finger garlicking good Italian sub. 
It looks uh, fabulous. It Trevor. actually smells really, really good from here. I almost hit my own glasses onto it. Uh, doing it, this. it smells like an incredible garlic bread, but I'm assuming that there's more to it than that. Um, yes, yeah, so that is garlic bread that the sandwich is on, and then you've got your classic uh, Italian sub meats. You've got prosciutto, capicola, salami, and then we've okay. got garlic cheese, a black garlic spread, whole raw garlic cloves, oh, crispy gosh. garlic chips, lettuce that has been soaked in garlic juice, Regular tomato for Rhett, and then also a garlic Thank sauce you. drizzle on the inside there. Okay, everything that you mentioned, oh, except shoot, Rhett. I just, I just, uh oh. I think I got What's all of happening? the toppings out of your side of the sub. Me on with my sub. So why don't you give me this one, well, and that then one, take that the, back, and then take the tomato out, and put that on there, and then give me the tomato. Okay. And while you're doing that, here's the thing. This is just a Trevor, tomato sandwich. <laughs> I want this to have a chance. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at these. I'm gonna it's just I'm garlic. Gonna, I'm gonna take off the raw garlic to give this a, to give it a chance. What? No. Because every and That's then not I'm how gonna, the chef intended. No, no, no. But I'll, I'll well, I'll just make sure I okay. I'll right, miss dude. it. I'll, I'll. No, it's gonna be hard to miss. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a full garlic. You, you're worried about Every, the same thing I'm worried about. No, no, which no, no. Is, no, I'm totally willing. The thing our is, if our need, wives have been on a trip together and they're coming home today. That, that's true. I am thinking about that. You know, I'm thinking about the homecoming, so to speak. I gotta get all of this back on there. Okay, that was easy. Can I have my tomato? <laughs> Can I have my tomato? Can I have my tomato? Because all that stuff that you mentioned with all those garlicky things, garlic cheese and garlic drizzle and garlic paste, all sounds so incredible. I want to give it a chance. But raw garlic is so overpowering. It actually is spicy, like it burns. Mm -hmm. This is going to be coming out the pores. We're going to be smelling this on ourselves tomorrow. Mm. You ready? Yes. Ow! That's strong. Ow! Ow! Oh my gar gar banks. I mean, it tastes good though. Well, that's that that's forever. <laughs> I mean, that's good for you. Like vampires keep away. I'm never gonna get a virus. You're never gonna get a virus. It's very, I mean, any moles? No oh, moles. Warts. Warts. I had a, used to have a wart on my elbow. I tried taking garlic pills. That wart said, "Uh, uh-uh, I can't. I can't be here." And he had a lot of warts. I had, it went, when I was a kid. It won't, Not just one or two. When I was a kid, was like, like when a, I was like 12, I had 27 warts on my hands at one point. Oh my gosh, Rhett, on your hands? Yeah, but like, I was still cool, nobody nobody cared, you know? <laughs> what do you mean, like 27 just, warts on, I, I, where I, was it? it? They were like, kind of hard to see, but like I counted them all one time, and I was like, there's 27. Hey, if you got if you got wart hands, don't let it stop you. It's the anti wart hand. Don't don't let it stop you from accomplishing all your dreams. I would take another bite after that speech. I mean, it it's, it's pretty good. It yeah, takes I'm away, not gonna take another bite. Takes away warts. I, I wanna, I really I feel wanna, like it was a strong ending. Here's the thing. Nothing negative to say. I, I wanna say Pungent. that the fact that the crew is doing this little tournament on the side makes me feel powerful, you know? <laughs> it's like you get to this point, Everybody seems to care a lot and more. And it's just like, you miss the little moments in between when they all react to the, what we just decided. And when we said that that Tic Tac Tuna Sub, didn't? Oh, I mean, they were upset. You should have seen the looks that I got. <laughs> I can see him. Made you, know? you feel powerful. Um, so it's like I feel like a lot hangs in the balance at this point. No, but we know this one does. So let's just say it will. Garlic, will it sub? Yes. <laughs> Some people are happy about yeah, that. It it does, and the reason that it does is because we didn't eat wonderful. the whole garlic. We we just ate. All the garlicky things that you put in there, and I, I realized it was bulb. a little bit of a cheat. Mm. There were a lot of twists and turns to today's episode, mm. and so it makes it even more amazing to learn that Kaylin still holds the lead. Kaylin is in our heads. Did she extend her lead, or just still maintains her lead? Do we know the specifics? Uh, maintains. Maintains. Okay. okay, it's still anybody's game. Early enough, thanks for subscribing and clicking that. <laughs> Excuse me. That garlic is already hurting oh, me. Oh, you didn't tell anybody about your your your, uh, your new ink, Link. I got a new tattoo. Uh, if you want to know the story, um, I, I'll, I'm po I'll post a little a little story time on the Mythical Society. Oh, if society. You're if you're interested in, in, in this. 
Can you finish what you were going to say when you burp? Bell. You know what time it is. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Joseph. And we're at the Grand Canyon. And it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Mythicality. Don't get too close to the edge! Or get too excited. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us identify lunch meats with our snippers and Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Make every morning a Good Mythical Morning with our new GMM Suncatcher sticker, available at mythical.com.